Hello and welcome. This is like a part two of the Black Friday haul. Fun fact, my birthday is in a week of Black Friday. I'm going to start with the most exciting part, which is this set. I got a set of 220, 220 watercolors from Daniel Smith. They are in quarter pants. I think I will have some glare if I put it up. Oh, I don't like that. Do you like this? Mm. I can't believe these are 220 watercolors from Daniel Smith. There were a few interesting watercolors that I never heard of. I don't think they were released at least over here. Like Christmas tree green. Hot mold cider yellow and candy cane red. And I'm pretty sure Christmas tree green is cascade green. Hot mold hot mold cider yellow is nickel esso yellow. And I think candy cane red is Cranagadon red. And they are scented. I have a pretty bad nose. But when I was watching the Christmas tree green, I smelled like something minty. So that's kind of funny. I want to play with these palettes in my <laughs> free time. I can't believe I did this. I'm going to regret when I one day drop these watercolors and the half pants or the quarter pants start to uh, flip off or fall off. I think it happened to me once, but I don't remember what palette it was. No, it wasn't this palette, it was a different one. <laughs> that one was labeled. <laughs> I didn't drop this palette just yet, but I'm that clumsy. And I took the time to write down all of the names because it came with this sheet and I can't read these names. But I looked, at, I, but I looked them up by their numbers and I just wrote down all of the names and and I made sure that it would fit on his lid because it would be annoying if it didn't and I didn't want like a flip over. I just wanted to pick up this palette up and see what colors are included in this palette. But I thought I wouldn't be able to read these names but uh, <laughs> I have no issues <laughs> reading these names so <laughs> my eyes are still working. I also never heard of the color King's Royal Blue. And there's also... And what color was it again? Chrome Titanate Yellow. I think these are a few of the newer colors, I think. But I want to play with these watercolors and experiment with them. But they sort of feel precious now. But I should use them. Because I just can't get... If I like a color enough, I can get a tube of the colors. I also got lucky with costumes right away with this one. So it ended up being cheaper <laughs> than I expected. So lucky me. Most of the time I have bad luck, but... This is the first time I had good luck. Now, this palette was the first palette that I got from the seller to see if these wouldn't be fake so I could test them out. And I'm impressed. These are the M. Graham watercolors. They are the 70 colors, also in quarter pants. And I did swatch out all of these colors. And I don't know what it is with M. Graham, but they just seem to travel everywhere. Everything sticks to them. <laughs> they are not my favorite watercolor brand, so I don't know why I got all 70 watercolors. They're fun, but they're difficult to use because they are so pigmented and in wet washes they 
sort of explode. They go everywhere. Even in places that you thought like, oh, I didn't know it would reach that far. <laughs> That's what M. Graham does. And they're so sticky. Even dust particles start to stick to them. But it's fun playing with these watercolors. And I should do that more often. It's a little frustrating brand. If I have to pick between these two, it's 100% Daniel Smith. I don't think M. Graham is in my top 5 of watercolor brands. Maybe next year it will change if I get more used to them. We'll see. I've been eyeing these Paul Rubin watercolor tubes for a few years. And I finally got them because they were so affordable. I think the bigger ones were around 4 euro tube for 18 ml. I don't know why this one is more expensive. So I got the smaller tube and... It's by the way, royal purple, moonlight purple, Christmas green and shadow purple. And I also took the time to swatch these colors. I, this, this is a very ugly sketch. <laughs> Let me cover. She looks hideous. <laughs> but here are the swatches. So the first one is shadow purple. The second one is Christmas green. The third one is moonlight purple. And the fourth one, so the final one is royal purple. I still don't know why Shadow Purple is that much more expensive compared to the other three. It doesn't have expensive pigments. Maybe the PG-18 is an expensive pigment. But the second one has the same pigment as Cascade Green from Daniel Smith. And I think Royal Purple has the same pigments as Rose of Ultramarine. But they don't look the same. I wouldn't know what color Moonlight Purple is supposed to be. Maybe it's their own um, color or their own inspired color, I mean. <laughs> But if I had to pick one, I do like how, <laughs> I keep forgetting the name, I do like how Shadow Purple separates compared to all of the other colors. It's like a deep moody blue which, with brown separating from it. And I don't know where the brown comes from. Because it's a mixture of... PG-18 and Ultramarine Blue PB-29. Hmm. It's an interesting color. I like it. Then I also picked up a set of the Supervision Granulating Watercolors. It's, this thing is very hard to open. Once I open it and I dropped everything. So this one is the one that I dropped. So that's why I'm afraid of dropping <laughs> these palettes. So I'll be careful. I'm going to transfer them to a different palette. So <laughs> I finally got it open. I actually ordered quarter pants, but they sent me half pants. And I did also swatch these colors. I couldn't wait before filming a video, I just couldn't. I tried and I thought, let me wait and this one was cutely packaged. I'm not sure about the lightfastness of these colors, so I wouldn't use them in professional artwork. But I like them, they give like a fun, cute effect. I used this color in the background of this painting 
and I used the M Grain palette for this quick sketch. And here I was comparing the colors that I have on my palette compared to the one that I receive. And they look the same, so you're gonna move to watercolor papers. Since I was ordering from AliExpress, there was a sale on their watercolor papers. So <laughs> picked up a few of their cold press sheets. I quite like this watercolor paper. I also picked up two of the blocks, so they are taped on four sides. And a small one. So I'm I'm set on watercolor paper for the next year. I have more than enough. Since you use your watercolor papers, I wanted to make sure that I have enough cotton watercolor paper so I can feel like I'm not wasting watercolor paper, even though I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna show you an example of a painting that I did today, which it didn't work out, but you know, we, we keep trying. <laughs> I don't like how the clouds turn out, but this is by the way done on Baohong Academy watercolors. But it's good for practice, even though you don't like the end result. <laughs> you know what you need to work on. I need to <laughs> apparently work on how I paint clouds because I really don't like it. I did enjoy making these trees. It was fun and I was zoning out. I also own a Baohong artist watercolor paper. And the main difference between these two is the texture. The artist watercolor has a way rougher texture. So it's, uh, it's not fun sketching on that paper. I don't like it. The paper is a lot wider compared to the Academy watercolor. So the colors just are a lot more vibrant on the artist watercolor paper. And the artist watercolor paper can handle a lot more compared to the Academy watercolor. But still, this is very good watercolor paper. I like it. I like it for my practice. And that's why I ordered four. I will also link where I got this watercolor paper from. And if I forget, please remind me down below. <laughs> because I tend to be forgetful. <laughs> but I won't be linking these watercolors because I don't want other people to run the risk of getting fake. Daniel Smooth watercolors. The next thing I'm excited about, and I got these rings. I'm gonna make easy sketchbooks. And I got, um, so I got rings to create a sketchbook and a um, hole puncher. I don't know what it is. Is it a hole puncher? this thing just gonna test it out on so let me test it out where did the paper go It stays inside this part. And these rings. Are they open? Oh. I thought it would be uh, taped on, but it's a screw top. But I already tried this one out. I was trying to open it up and it wouldn't work, but you have to. Push down and separate it this way. So it's easy enough to open. And 
So I'm going to make easy sketchbooks using rings. And sometimes I just want to use different papers together or when I'm doing a review, I like to have everything ordered together or neatly together. So. so that's the reason why I got these two. I really wanted to have rose gold, but if I found out that the rose gold is pretty ugly, I still had a back off. <laughs> you know, silver is kind of neutral. <laughs> I also got a palette. Why are these things so hard to open? A portable color box. And I saw on the picture that it would fit half pants. And I was like, let me try it out. It was around, I think it was two euros or a little bit less when it was on sale. I literally had to tear this. I tore this box open and there's still a layer of plastic. So you can fill it up with 28 watercolors, but they are not half pants, so I think. Not what I expected, but it's fine. And these seem to be very shallow. You open it up like, oh, it, it does stay shut. I think you can swivel around. It's a fun little palette. Not what I was thinking it would be, but it's fine. Another thing I got, which I probably need my sketchbook for, is these magnets. They are pretty strong. So this is like a palette and it stays and it contains also watercolors but it's a very strong oh well <laughs> those were the watercolors those weren't securely in their pants I always have my watercolors in a specific order. So from cool to warm red, cool red, warm blue, cool blue, greens, and then earth tones. But this is like a standard the 12 half pan palette. Let me see. Oh. Well, it's not strong enough to hold it up, but it will hold it up if you keep it like this. This is, by the way, the signature palette I was looking at. Which expensive palette am I gonna drop this time? But yeah, I'm quite excited for these magnets. 
Next up is collapsible water cups. Oh, it's a cute heart. So it comes with what is it called? I don't know what it's called anymore. <laughs> I know the Dutch word for it. So you can fill it up with water. And if you finished, if you done painting and empty out this cup, you can just... <laughs> can I do this? I don't know. <laughs> this is supposed to be easy. Oh, okay. It did work. And I don't know what this is meant for where, like on your back. That you can hang it on your back. But I thought these two would be pretty handy. And they weren't expensive, so I added to my cart. The final item, last but not least, this bag. This is the shop where I got the watercolor paper from. So this is a pencil case. I hope this looks good on the inside. Because I like the material. Okay, this doesn't disappoint. Oh, I spoke too soon. So I don't like this part. So I might use it without this flap. Not really impressed. I knew that this wouldn't fit. Well, we can try. Nope. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> It won't fit, but I wanted to put some daily sketch items in this pouch because I have them laying around <laughs> right now. Maybe like this. Let's be honest, I won't be using this. I would probably just throw in like this and then slowly fill it up until nothing fits anymore and I'm still looking <laughs> through my stuff for the right pencil <laughs> oh my gosh that's how I am but this is the big pencil case from Sam Sammy Art I hope I'm saying it right so this is the last item I got from this haul, the most exciting thing is these watercolors. I also like these watercolors that I got. I'm quite excited about these. Rings and is this a hole puncher? I think, I think that's what it's called. To make my own sketchbook and of course the Baohang Academy watercolor paper. I'm quite happy with that paper, but yeah, I'm quite happy with this haul. I also bought one more thing <laughs> that will be coming, actually a few more things that will come in on Monday. And it, one of them is the Schmincke Retro Bichu palette, which I definitely want to do a video about. I think that might be the next video. 
and so that was the haul i want to thank you all for watching please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i would love to see you in the next one until then bye bye